singing away like a beautiful man he is and we are back live in our studio where are we we're, we're on planet earth that's where we are hiding somewhere in an unknown university <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing. yes we are secrets are ours. underground 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 radio underground radio we're here with uh, our new guest we're, this is our what fourth podcast I think this is number four. One, yeah, four. Five. Yeah, so you and I were the first one, and then it was Michael came on, and yeah. then Richard, 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 and then we have our beautiful guest Scotty. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. How good. are you, brother? It's good. I'm always good. <coughs> it's born good. Born, born good. good. Born you good. You didn't cry. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! The job just smacked. You just came out happened. and you were crying. Yeah. You got smacked and you're like, dude, <laughs> come, come on, come on, guys. Come on, anyway, guys. Move it on. All right. So, <laughs> what, should we get into this podcast? Uh, I don't know. I'm on uh, topic already. <laughs> we're we're great with that, man. This is this is the podcast. It's all about. All right. Let's do it. So yeah. So our first question generally mm. is um, to our guest. It's yeah. It's to our guest. But we should, do that. should we do that first? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right, let's we'll do that first. Well, well Scotty's here. We, yeah. we want to respect his time. Yeah. yeah. We're right. going to be respectful of our hey. guests. So, our first guest. Do you want to shoot the question? I can't see the question from The here. question is, Scotty. Yes. What was your inspiration? Mm. So, actually, what, yes. what are you studying first? Yeah. So, I'm studying motor racing engineering as mm-hmm. a second major to mechanical. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love it. You love it? It wasn't my first choice for sort of what I wanted to be, but... Mm-hmm. It definitely developed from, you know, the same sort of places, which is engineering. Mm-hmm. And I love what I do, and I want to do it for the rest of my life. Perfect. That's so cool. what inspired you to um, do this? So Even just getting into story. engineering. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. To, take like, br- I'll give you a quick backstory. Like, yeah. Yours was prison break. Yeah. Mine was yeah. some dude on the ski slopes of Canada. Yeah. Nice. Richard's was... Advertisement. Advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He saw a billboard, and that's what he wanted. Wow. That's what was so funny about that last podcast, that because was he, was, he was like straight up, you're a victim of advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> you succumbed. <laughs> straight so, away. Uh, what was so yeah, tell us your story. Yeah. So I don't know. I worked at Hungry Jacks, and I still do for a very long time. I worked there for nearly 10 years. Ooh. And sort of as I've gotten older and worked with younger people, I've noticed sort of myself in them, in the way that, there's these 16 to 17-year-olds that have no idea what they want to be when they grow up and they feel pressured by either their parents or the society around them about what they want to be, right? And when they have to decide before, you know, they're 18. Like, you, have, you still have to put your hand up in class to ask to go to the toilet, but you have to decide what you're going to be for the rest of your life at that stage in your life, which is just ridiculous. So, that's actually, I am... Um, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I never yeah. thought of it that way. Yeah, you, think have of to, it. you have to ask for permission to pee, but... You, you still have to make the decision to, hey, this is what you I'm going to be a, an IT professional for the rest of my life. Okay. I'm going to be an engineer. I'm going to be a nurse or a teacher or whatever. Okay. And it's – so this is me at 17. I'm about to graduate high school. I did I did sort of the harder subjects, if that makes sense. I did math C, B, physics, legal studies, all of that. And I didn't quite know what I wanted to be. I had these quick little 30-second sessions with my guidance counsellor at uni, oh, sorry, at, at high school that would tell me, like, what do you want to be? What do you like? And they said, mm, maybe you want to do IT. And that's sort of just where I went. I was like, I'm pretty good with computers. Um, I'll give IT a go. Um, I went to Griffith for a year and a bit, and um, it was horrible. It just it wasn't for me. Uh, I'm not saying this, the course was bad or the teaching was bad. The teachers were great. Mm-hmm. Um, but it just it, IT wasn't for me. I don't. It wouldn't have mattered where I went. It just wasn't. Well, it's good I that went. you could do that, man. Because I think it takes like a lot of courage, just in general, to to find to actually pull out of something that you thought was maybe something you wanted to do. Yeah. You know, you sort of went in there, and you know, I think that's like that's awesome, man. Because you think about it, people go into things, and you know, it's people are so worried about the judgment of others. Yeah. You no. find that, yeah. and it's always about p- p- making other people happy. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's about you. Yeah, exactly. And if you're not right. happy, man, fuck my. Yeah, exactly right. So I, t- I took a year off. I um, I wish that in that year I did something a little bit more productive. All I did was work, um, but you can't live with regrets. Um, so and then I went into 
engineering at USQ. Um, it was a wake-up call. It was a lot harder than IT was, but... Who knows? <laughs> Do we want to cut that out? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll, we'll sort we'll it out. It. Just, we'll just flow, it. brother. Just flow. Yeah. You're going we'll well. hit it in post. Anyway, so I did engineering at an unknown university. Uh, the same university that Craig and Andrew go to. Carla. Yeah. <laughs> what, and what? Um, I did mechanical there, and it was, so it was good. It was really interesting. It, it felt like home, if that makes sense. But this university didn't offer what I ultimately decided I wanted to be. That was a motor racing engineer. Um, Boom. Yeah. That's, that's sick, man. Yeah. So <clears throat> it's not even motor racing. It's, it's automotive in some way. So it could be automotive systems like the entertainment in a car mm-hmm. or braking, suspension, all these different control mechanisms within a car. Um, the, the university that Craig and Andrew go to didn't attend. offer that. Yeah, attended. Attend. Um, didn't offer that. So I had to go to another university based in Brisbane. So that's, um, that's, for, that's the reason for the change. You just yes. like... Yeah. yeah. Again, another big choice. You're just like, no, That's this, it. Is, yeah. this is close, but not close enough. Yeah, no. So I, I made a call it. and it, it cut me back in my years. I probably lost about a year and a half worth of credit um, towards my degree. But wow. it's it's so important to me. And all these people I work with at Hungry Jacks that are young and coming to the age where they need to be deciding. They don't need to, but it, you know, it, society dictates that they should. Mm-hmm. Um it's okay to not know and it's okay to change if you feel like you've made the wrong decision. So even though I'm not going to be graduating uni until I'm probably 25, it's, I'm going to be doing something I love. Exactly. Which is so important when you're going to be spending 40 to maybe even 70 hours a week doing something. Hmm. It's so important. <laughs> it's so important. You want to make sure that that something is so yeah. interesting and what exactly you want to right. do. Exactly. You want, you By the way, 25 is not that old. Well, I, I know, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm 26. Ah, I'm still here. <laughs> no, but it's it's still like following that, that plan that's laid out for you before you're even yeah. born, right? You no, graduate high school at 17, you're out of uni by 21, you're out in the world at 22. Yeah, but I I honestly, sorry to cut you off, but I think you, in, the, in that time frame, with, I think we spoke about it before, I just feel that time frame, you're so vulnerable and so precious, mm. and I'm only 26, man, and I don't know shit, but... You know, there, there, there's such a there's such a growing up period from when you leave school till about 21 years old. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's just there's there's I don't know. Maybe some people work it out, but then some people don't. I couldn't do engineering at 17. Oh. I would no, no way. Never. I would have enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it was it's just it's such a commitment. It is, man. Yeah, and it's uh, sorry. Going back to where I was speaking before sorry, is no, no, no. It's okay. It's so important that you're doing something that you love, and it, you're doing something that you would be proud to introduce yourself as. Mm-hmm. If you can shake someone's hand and say, "G'day, my name is Scott, and I'm a motor racing engineer," that's going to make me so happy. Rather than saying an IT professional, even though I'm not saying those jobs sit anywhere different on the ladder, you better it's otherwise you'll get hacked. It's like, just for you. <laughs> after this podcast, <laughs> IT guy is just like, all right, that's spam mail for you for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, that's just awesome. pull down the podcast <laughs> and shit. <laughs> like no one's listened to it. But it's something that I would be proud to call myself. For sure. A, a mechanical motor racing engineer. Like I said, at the end of the day, man, if you're doing what you love, you never work a day in your life. Yeah, we say that a lot. We do. I do. Yeah. I find myself saying that a lot, but it's a nice thing to say because mm. if you can feel that, yeah. just doing what you you enjoy every day, like what well, does you're never gonna yeah. work ever. You're exactly right. You, 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 that's the goal. It won't even it won't even come to like the hours in a week. It would come to a point where there's not enough hours in the week to yeah. do what you're doing. Exactly right. You know what I mean? And then there'll be then there'll be you know time pressure and money and mm. what, whatever whatever comes Having along with that. Having a family happens. Yeah, all that stuff. But yeah, it's it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing to be on the right path that you feel is right for you, I guess. Yeah. So I, I owe a lot of that to my girlfriend because she's she did law and journalism before she decided she wanted to do accounting. Oh, nice. Yeah. Big degrees. Yeah, big, big degrees, degrees with, all yeah. around. She's a smart cookie though, right? Oh, she's very bright. Um, but she did what she loved. She It took a little bit longer for her, but now she's working in one of the big four engineer, uh, sorry, accounting firms. Um, she's working big hours for pay that's less than where she would get sort of at mid-tier firms, mm. but she loves it. She comes home from work after a 12-hour day mm-hmm. with a smile on her face. <clears throat> like, Man, you can't be that. Sometimes yeah. it's not about the money, though. No, of course people, not, yeah. You know, and it, like we just, you just said before, it's just like you're doing something you enjoy. You know, mm. money's a bonus, and yep. that's just a part of like society, how that all works, mm. and being a part of this, and you know, having all those things that you, you know, 
you have like a house, a car. Oh, absolutely. You know, you're not going to give up those things. <laughs> sure, all three of us came from very humble beginnings. I know I did. Yeah. Um, and it, it would be nice to be able to provide for a family or whatever happens in the future. Yeah, um, I'll probably get someone pregnant too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, that was a great start to the podcast. Was, was that good. not? It was pretty much, it, it articulates everything we've said in the last couple of podcasts all rolled into one. It was great. It was that good. was, it it was good, good, man. It's a common thought of everyone. It's like, hey, we're going to do something we love and... This is it. This is what it's we're not doing. going to be easy. Engineering is not easy. <laughs> but <whoa. clears throat> but at, the, at the same day, like you could think, engineering when you're out in the field and you can see other people, it's it takes up a lot of your time. Mm. And if it's something that you don't enjoy, you're gonna you're gonna hate life. If oh, you say, yeah. "Oh my god, I hate building things, or making things, or designing things." I oh, hate okay. spending cool. eight hours at a desk a day, which unfortunately engineering is. So a part of my thought process for deciding what I wanted to be when I grew up at 19 years old was. I'm terribly scared of being behind a desk for eight hours a day for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. So I feel like engineering is that good mix of being out in the field, especially as a mechanical engineer, for and sure. being on the tools mm-hmm. and utilizing my other skill that I love the most, which is managing people, which is huge in engineering. Project management is huge, and it's something that if you work hard, you can be quite quickly. Mm-hmm. A production engineer. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. even people skills just in general. Oh, is so like important. it's it's almost like a stereotype that way. Engineers don't mm. have that. You know, you picture an engineer. It's like you hear engineer, and you're like, oh, okay, that's a dude that sits in the back of the office <clears throat> and just does work on the computer. Don't talk to him. He can't really talk to people, sort yeah. of thing. You know, but it's it's a good key. I think maybe even just a good um like uh, tool in your toolbox to have is to be able to communicate with people. You know, with just even just in front of them, mm. or even in written word. It's just uh, communication is everything. Because if you can't communicate, there's no there's no, what, you know, we can't relay the message. No, no absolutely. You pass the info on that you need. Yeah. And if you're bad with people, your team's going to dissolve. You're not going to get anything done. Like, yeah. mm. I love projects. And this is one of the reasons Mechanical for me was the geo project, 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 project. And you're like, woohoo, managing people. I've managed heaps of people, yeah. whether it be on, on the tools or in an office environment or in, a, in the field. And there is that little sense of, beginning to finish and that finish of completion you yeah. know like i've achieved the goal that we set out to do and it's very rewarding in the sense that you get it straight away like yeah. boom yeah. done let's practical. go have scotch you know yeah. what i mean like let's do a good, let's go have a drink afterwards yeah. we're, we're good to go we're done yeah. yeah and i think that's 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 key and that's that's all about people if you're not good with people you're gonna suffer a little bit you're gonna be relegated to the computer in the back office drawing on cats mm. So yeah, maybe. Yeah. So, so at my university at the moment, I'm a part of a motor racing team. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. which is <clears throat> fantastic, and we compete against hundreds of different unis across the globe. Um, Jolly. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this year I've moved up into an executive role, which is awesome. I'm really enjoying it, but it's hard work. Mm-hmm. But having these people below me, not below me, underneath me that I manage is so good and I'm getting to sort of give these skills that I've developed out of my own accord into situations that are so helpful for the club. Like speaking with sponsors is terrifying, right? Approaching someone and saying, can I have $20,000 is is such a learning curve and so important. Like the most important skill you will learn in life is communication above any other engineering skill about any sort of analysis or simulation. Mm -hmm. If you can talk to a client, to your boss, to someone, you know, to the bloody cleaner in your building, mm-hmm. then that's more important than anything else you will learn. Yeah, it is so, it's so valuable to communicate. Like, yeah, man, you just, you've just you're hitting everything right here, man. This is yeah. great. <laughs> so, because if you can't communicate and you, you're in a situation where you don't understand something, if you can approach someone who's been there five years and be like, hey, what's your understanding of you know, this software suite, mm-hmm. and they sit down with you for two hours and make sure you understand it, mm-hmm. that's more than you'll ever learn at uni. Mm-hmm. That's that's real-world stuff. Mm. Do you think it comes back to maybe self-confidence? Oh, or, absolutely. Or as well as maybe some people's ego as well. They don't want, they don't want help in mm. certain things, maybe, from I feel like 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 both sides of the thing. Like I that. feel like you're right on both points there. I mean, confidence is key. Yeah. You fake it till you make it, right? You're like... You yeah. walk in a room and Maybe. you make people notice you and that's so important. But you need to humble yourself. Yeah. You need to know when you don't get something and you need to be able to say, can I have some help? But asking with confidence, I mean, you're putting those two things together. It's great. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we're all students, man. 
Absolutely. Even when we graduate, you're still you're, you're bound. Constantly still. learning. Forever. Oh yeah. It's yeah. You, yeah. The CPD man, continuous de- you know professional development. Yeah. You've I'm, got, I'm working in industry at the moment, and I feel like a fish out of water ninety percent of the time. But <sighs> I'm learning so much. What, what are you What are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So do we want to keep, stick with the script or just keep this is no, great? No, this, this is, is a conversation. This is, this is great. This, this is, is great. good. Fuck so the script. in my second year at QUT. <laughs> Sorry. In my second year at my new university, a posting was made for fourth year students, well above my sort of capabilities as a student for part time mechanical engineering work. Mm-hmm. Um, I applied anyway. I gave it a shot. I went in with confidence. I gave them a call straight away. I had the phone number listed in the listing. Mm. I said, Look, let's grab some coffee. <laughs> in, in a longer conversation, I said, I don't care. We're meeting. We're grabbing a coffee. I'm buying you a coffee, right? I walked out of that meeting with a job. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the man. <laughs> you are. No, I'm not. Like it's I can just feel the confidence dripping from here. I got some on my shoes. I think. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great. Right. <laughs> but it's it's, it's just like it's it's so important to shoot for something that you don't think you'll get, right? So shoot for the stars. Yeah, man. And I landed in the stars somehow. That's oh sweet, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was it was, it was unbelievably lucky. Um, but I get to put the word engineer on my reg- resume, which is so important. Mm. Um, so what I do is called building mm. services. It isn't my major. It is still mechanical. So we do uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. We do electrical switchboard fit-outs, and we do a lot of, like, odour control and stuff like that. So if you look up at our roof in this studio right now, we've got a couple of um, supply air vents that are the whirly bird type, and you've got roof turn air as well. And all these things need to be planned out by a mechanical engineer to ensure that everyone sitting in the room is kept comfortable. Now, comfortable to an engineer is 24 degrees at 50% humidity. Wow. So Sounds very much like thermodynamics we've got yeah, going on here. Exactly yeah. right. Yeah, so that, that comes into play a lot, and a lot of software that's very expensive gets used. Yay. Um, but we give strategies to be sustainable. So instead of saying that we will keep a c- person comfortable 100% of the time, we might shoot for a goal of 95 because the savings are significant. Ah, uh, okay. Right? Yeah. 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 So when I simulate <laughs> the thermal loads on a building, mm. whether that be people sitting here producing energy, it's like it's 70 watts uh, a yeah. person puts out. Cool. And you've but got yeah, like... I didn't even consider that. Yeah, so it's something you think, hey, and like the temperature of your laptop sitting there producing heat in this zone, wow. the, the, the biggest load you'll, thermal load you'll ever get the light. is solar. Mm. Oh, solar. Solar load, right? Wow. And which way the building faces. Mm-hmm. Because you know, north, east, east, west comes over at certain times of the day. So I will simulate a building in a three D model, and it will uh, simulate the sun going out every single day of the year. Wow. Then it will tell me that the hottest day of the year for a thermal load will be three pm on a Thursday. Well, sorry, three pm on a middle of February day, right? Mm-hmm. And that temperature will be this. <laughs> So we've got all these weather maps as well, and it's super interesting. Yeah, I mean, so, uh, some nerd burgers got at it and made this this software. I'm just the monkey that runs it, right? <laughs> but it's just so interesting that someone's put that together, and you know that allows. Obviously, there's another sort of dimension to this, which is the legal side. So, if we provide a solution, obviously, Andrew told me this. Um, this sort of, I don't know, what would you call it? A quote. So anyone can build a bridge, right? But an engineer will do it the cheapest way. So anyone can put aircon in a building, right? Mm. But an engineer will do it at the bare minimum Mm -hmm. that will keep everyone comfortable. So that's what we're trying to achieve. We find the kilowatt rating for the uh, aircon system that will be required. It's not really necessary for heating in Australia. We do a little bit, but a lot of of it is just the lack of aircon is enough to keep everyone warm. Mm. Um, So that's why you go to the building and they're always just a bit shit. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, because it's cheap. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just run 100% the yeah. is what you'd run in, like, a hospital, right? Like, a hospital needs to be comfortable all the time, no matter mm-hmm. what. Otherwise, yeah. people die. Oh. Um, so, obviously, that's where costs skyrocket, when you have that 100% guarantee of a comfortable people. Where it gets difficult is where you've got places like concert halls, where you'll go from no one in the room to several tens of thousands jumping up and down pre like producing a bunch of like energy yeah so you need to sort of draw the line where it's appropriate yeah wow. and everyone knows like if you go to brisbane entertainment center it's hot sweaty now really i went hot, yeah. i went to see kanye west there 
Oh, wow. That was, that was your cool. first concert, hey? Yeah, it was. That's awesome. It was fun, man. I hate Kanye. So Why? <laughs> I just don't like him. Really. Oh, man. He's all right. Like one of those kids at school. Hey? You know, the kids at school that have like way too much money and <laughs> they roll yeah. in with their mum and dad's car and you just Basically. want to put a brick through the window. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I like about him, he just says whatever he wants. That's what's so cool about it. It's yeah, a like messed up way of looking at the world, though. Yeah, but it's yeah. Everyone's got their own interpretation. Of course, I'm not going to sit here and defend him. There's this so is an engineering Kanye. podcast. No, no, no. <laughs> like, there's so many Kanye fans that if you're not on board, you're going to get terrorized. Yeah, no. Yeah. I don't have a problem with Kanye fans. I do have a problem with Chris Brown fans, but that's for Holla. another day. Yeah. Um, that, what's that to do with engineering? Nothing. Yay. Yay. We're off sound. Okay. We love this podcast. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's the, cool. that's interesting, man. Yeah, that it's was super cool. It was so like into it. Yeah, it was good. I loved it. I th- I don't want to worried about being like you're gonna be a H- HVAC. It's uh, engineer. You think you're it's huge get... in Australia? Yeah, I Building know. It's What's a HVNC? It's a mechanical HVAC. engineer that does. Ha- what uh, it's heating, ventilation, air conditioning. It's it's the biggest industry within mechanical. Oh, okay, that's not mechanical. Like hey. it's not production or yeah. manufacturing or anything. Like yeah, because civil guy. Then yeah. no shit. No, no. It's, I didn't even know about it until I applied for the job. Bro. Oh, yeah. Like, um, you don't ask questions. You don't know. No, exactly. You, you right. saw mechanical on the title and went, yes. Yes, <laughs> mechanical engineer. That's going to look good on the resume. Yeah. All so right. Do we, oh, yeah. You got a question? Uh, no, it's gone. It's gone. Well, uh, well I was just going to jump in to what's, what's your toughest challenge. But you probably covered that, really. No? What's I, your toughest I, challenge as a student engineer? Oh, staying on task. I'm a serial procrastinator and I hate it. Like, I have to work so hard. I have to brute force sort of living and being a student. Like, I have to force myself to get to uni in the morning and sit there. Otherwise, I will sit there and watch YouTube video after YouTube oh. video after YouTube video. Right? YouTube wormhole. Yes. How good is YouTube? Yeah. It's great. It, it, it's I just... I love it. Like, it's shit you could find, though. It's so cool. <sighs> I saw a guy building a penny bridge. He was building pennies on top of each other until that's they like, cool. reached out. And but they come the, around the, the desk they come around outside. The yeah. They're like, that's awesome. Yeah. You start doing it yourself and you run out of change. You're like, oh. oh. We should do a video of us doing that. All right, I'll bring some coin in. <laughs> you work at a coin oh, factory? Yeah. Coin factory. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. So yeah. just keeping on... T- yeah, like, keeping on task. Like, it's... I thought... We have By the now, same thing, easier, as you yeah. can tell. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing but a podcast. Like, <laughs> I'm supposed to be. St- I got an assignment due next week. You know? Yeah, I know. I've got yeah. several due it's next just, week. But it's, it's anyway. just so hard to stay on task. <sighs> stress relief, um, then. Apart from watching YouTube, it's not even stress. Like it's. I don't feel stressed. I just. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just so hard to get off my ass and start studying. Mm. Like obviously, I do it. Just initially, like getting yeah. into it. Yeah, like uh, getting the ball rolling. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's all things in life like that. Get Cleaning my doing apartment it. is, I do the first five minutes, then I don't want to stop. But it's doing that first five minutes that's horrendous. That's what you want to do. Yes. Yeah. Just sit down for the first five. Yeah. Just convince yourself that you're only going to do five minutes. And then by then, by the time you know it's been five hours. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. This is, you just got to get the mindset. Yeah, I know. It's, it's but that's, that's been my greatest challenge um, in engineering and uni life in general. That and time management. I'm a very oh. busy person. Yeah. Holla. More things Time management about. Yeah, yeah it yeah. comes up so much It's yeah. so it's good yeah. It's it's a thing that people need to stress If they're <clears throat> Even just going to uni And Well engineering from our perspective Is the time management yeah. You need to be effective yeah, And efficient course. You know you need to You know like sitting down And doing your stuff And you know mm. Setting time aside So you can actually get the things You need done Oh yeah You know How angry are you When you're doing an assignment That is completely rubbish <sighs> And you're just like Dude you wasted two weeks of my life mm-hmm. You could have just said study this, research this, this is what I want. But no, sometimes they're like, well, maybe it's in within this area, but we won't tell you what it is because we'll yeah. keep it vague. That frustrates me, like, man. Oh, dush, dush, dush. What's so frustrating for me is like assignments that will take you five hours that are worth 20%. Yeah. <sighs> but, then, but then assignments that are worth like 12 or 7.5% that take me 20 to 25 yeah. hours. I just want to smash my head through the desk. It's just like, yeah. I'm on like 30 hours for a 10 percenter at the moment and yeah. I'm halfway done. Yeah, it's just unbelievable. It's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. It's but about maybe it. um, it's to learn the method. Oh, of course. Yeah, obviously, there's a, a reason technique. for doing it, but like, I just wish that it would be either worth more or just a little bit less labor intensive because <clears throat> yeah. it's just like brute force. Do an equation after equation after equation. Like, it's it's difficult. Yeah. 
All right, man. Talking about difficulties, the hardest subject mm. or project, and why? Okay, um, I really, really didn't enjoy statistics. Um, yep. Mainly because a lot of people say statistics is an art rather than a science. Because it is. It's difficult. It was very hard for me to grasp. I'm sure there were people in my subject that just got it, right? There's, uh, just like I sort of get certain things. I really enjoy CAD and 3D modelling. I really just don't get statistics. I busted my ass for that subject and I ended up with a five. When I really... If I spent that amount of time on any other subject, it would have been a seven. Yeah. Um, it's just... Yeah. Statistics was hard. Uh, oh, that was a microphone falling. That's right. We'll cut that out. Um, <laughs> so probably not. Yeah. Um, oh, what else did I have? A lot of Sorry, dude. No, no, no. Don't be. Um, Electrical engineering was difficult too. Oh, yeah, I can so imagine. But what I was going to say on the back of what you're saying there, everyone has their strengths. Oh yeah. Everyone has their weaknesses as well, and maybe statistics was just your weakness. Because someone else, that's a statistic fucking crazy guy, is going. Uh, yeah, I. Ha-, you know, he's probably saying that the opposite of what you're saying. Yeah. You're right. But that's what I'd like to flow into the next point is how important a good support group at uni is. For sure. A group of friends that have different strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. I found that group of friends through the motorsport team. Mm -hmm. Um, We all work together and we all work towards, you know, a greater goal of getting good marks, right? Mm -hmm. So my my group of friends are great. Um, They help me and I feel like I help them. And it's so important to make friends not only... If you are following the sort of the laid out structure of the university of your first year, second year, third year, fourth year subjects, by all means make friends in your major. But it's it's difficult for some people, especially ones who transfer or start halfway through the year. You're not going to have the same people in every class. Mm. So that's where it's a good idea to join a club that's specific or very close to what you are studying. Um, I found a bunch of friends in motor racing because they're all mechanical engineers. Mm-hmm. Um, there's, you know accounting student associations where you can make friends at. There's so many different ways that you can make friends in what you are studying. The easy, I think, to sum that up is just get involved. Oh, yeah. With whatever you're doing, just get involved with it. Don't just sit on the back corners and just doing all the theoretical, you know, subjects, just going through the motions. Actually get into it, what you're doing. Kind of like what we're doing with this podcast here. We're getting into it. Yeah, exactly. You know, we're we're talking to... And we're making friends. And we're making friends. How many views do we have now? We've got 47 friends. So I've got... (laughs) (laughs) So we've got like a, a bunch of guys and a couple of girls from the the motorsport club. Yeah, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a girl in engineering. What? Oh, we've got like ten girls in the team. What? what? Yeah, um, they're all doing different <laughs> things though. Some are doing like photography. Some are doing like one's our photography person. One person nice. is our marketing person. One person is our like it's all these people want to meet you and be a part of the podcast because they want to get involved, right? So it's That'd just cool. growing this network of great people. Cool. It's going to be cool. That will be cool, man. Mm. Yeah, for sure. I want to get anyone on this that's interested yeah. <laughs> in talking with this and wants to be involved, man. Well, this sorry is for the... these people, man. Yeah. <laughs> All their expectations are so high and they see us two schleppies. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. We're just sitting here. Just cr- knees up. Yeah, coffee okay. in hand. Half asleep. Yeah. <laughs> that's how most podcasts Follow your goals. Go, pretty sure. <laughs> it's good, man. We can just sit in and talk about whatever we want. Mm. All right. Um, favorite subject, dude. Because this is the really student engineering enjoy. podcast, if I can give it a quick plug halfway through. Yeah. Oh, of course. Um, we're students and we're engineering. Yeah. Really Learn. enjoyed thermo. thermo. Really enjoyed Thermo. Thermodynamics. Yeah, Thermodynamics. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've only done like the first one. But what was the best part about that for you? It just made sense, if that makes sense. Like it, it's just, okay, does the heat go in or does the heat go out? <gasps> does the heat go out <coughs> or in? It goes out. Oh, goes out. Yeah. There you go. I didn't know that. Yeah. Someone's so like, no! Heat, heat is energy, and it transfers into the cold. It cannot be... Uh-huh. Tr- it, it, you can't destroy energy. It yeah. merely transforms. It does. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Yeah, yeah. But like, um, the cold is the power. Yeah. That's where it is. Technically, the heat is the power, but... <laughs> yeah. go, go for the cold. He hasn't done that. It's the body <laughs> power. It gives you power in the yeah. body. Go take a cold shower and see how you feel. Oh, it's amazing. Gives you that charge. Yeah. Or ending just a hot shower with a cold shower is good, too. Ooh, mm. nice. Hot, cold showers. Mm. What's that got to do about engineering? No. Everything. Everything. That's life. This, this doesn't have to be an engineering. This is life. <laughs> yeah. Talking. Life chat. This is like breathing. So, so often, I wish I could talk to like fifteen-year-old me and be like, "Get your shit together," or oh. some awesome bits about how to be a human being. Right. 
Maybe that's a question we shouldn't have on the podcast. Is like, what would you say to your 18-year-old self? What would self? you say? There you go. There you go. We're, We're going to start a new question on the now. podcast. Yeah, what would I say to... <laughs> your leaving school self. Yep. Yeah, so, so grade 12, in... finishing grade 12, Scotty. Um, you're walking out of the doors of school. Yeah. So you graduated, you threw your hat off. Yeah. You had a hat? I didn't have a hat. No, nah, yeah. I'm just saying it because okay. that's yeah. the imagery yeah. in yeah. my mind. No, okay, that's, that's the... You're doing s- the slow-mo the jump in the air. You know that slow-mo yeah. jump in the air? And there's some swelling music in the background. Like Toyota, like... Believe <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I suppose I would tell myself to not settle. Don't settle. Like, it's so important to do exactly what you want to do. Mm. And if people or friends get in the way of that, they're not friends. Um, so if it's important to you that you become an engineer, but you didn't get a good enough OP or your family don't think it's a good idea or whatever, mm-hmm. do what it takes. If your family don't want you to do it, move away from your family. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just, it's so important to be you. And I've seen it a at couple of costs. times. Yeah, at, for at, sure. At, well, I mean, at the cost of not living life. Mm. True. It's so important to do what you love. It is, man. It is. It's, at the end of the day. It's hard to have that focus when, you, when you're when you like, leaving school. Like, oh, absolutely. Didn't I didn't have it. it. I, I didn't for have it sure, either. man. I didn't have it for like 20 years afterwards. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that's like we was, spoke earlier that that transition from the 18 to 21. Like, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm still I look, growing at 23. Like it's ah, You are, man. We all are. We're all still growing. In, like, we'll probably listen back to this in a few years and go, yeah. what the hell are we Childish thinking? Fools. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just. You threw it all away. Yeah, you grow as people. People, man, and you and you know when you look back at yourself in pictures and you're like, man, what was that sort of haircut I yeah. had? <laughs> you know, it's just you grow, man. Dude, you, I look back in get... photos and I see fluoro. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, come on, man, really? Fluoro is right. coming back into fashion, dude. I'm going to an '80s party tomorrow. Night. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going as one of the T-Birds. Oh, the Thunderbirds, I go. No, what? from Greece. The T-Birds. Uh, That's like a '60s thing, though, isn't it? I don't know, man. I'm yeah, just I'm wearing. It's that. definitely not eighties, but, but you know what I'm going. Like? I googled. I googled um eighties costumes, and that came up. Just, oh, well, that's no, nice. Just Google Home and Away nineteen eighties. will give you the. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you need. Damn. Um, I'm sure I'll feel that way about my undercut haircut in like five years. But I had an undercut when I was in school when I was like oh. fifteen years old. Undercuts nice. were cool because that Terminator, like the Terminator, just came out, and the guy off that had an undercut, so everyone oh. wanted an undercut. Wow, yeah. it's so funny to think like that. How people just copy off movies and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, we got it, no idea. Like that was cool. I'll give that a go. It's like, yeah. oh, we see that on TV, and oh, now I want to do that. <laughs> well, it's like I, I saw my haircut. I don't know where I saw it, but like I'd seen it, and I was thought, oh, I'll give that a go. Got the nice comb over. I've got the same one. Yeah. Well, we all got the comb over going. I don't know what I got going. Well, mine's no. a bit messy. Mine is not made up. I came straight from work, but that that is all short. And the same. Di- anyway, it's all short this back. is audio. So, this is great. Yeah. This is fantastic. I it's haven't undercut those of you who are listening. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, hipster, undercuts. Very hipster. Mm. Very hipster. So uh, the next question <laughs> is um, stress relief tactics that you use to manage your studies. I um, so I love to just chill on the couch and watch a movie with my girlfriend. Like it's rare. We're both very busy people, but it's nice to either. Have a nice pig out session and grab like a pizza each and <sighs> and just like eat that over a day or two. Good boys. Yeah. Bit butcher's block. Yeah. No, I go cheap eats. Oh nice. I make my um, own pizza. Oh, <laughs> uh, there make we go. Oh, oh wow. I, have a, I have a bread maker. Who has oh! time for that? What? You have time for that? I He's got s- time. I- I drink a lot of coffee uh, <laughs> <laughs> as I'm holding up a coffee cup. <laughs> okay, that's something I'd love to talk about too. How important it is to get eight hours sleep a night. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, what's that like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, no, so you stress, sorry, just for real quick, to, yeah. your stress relief was just going on the uh, couch with me. Yeah, like, just, just zoning out. And zone, or like smashing out a season of oh. something. Game of Thrones? No, I, so my, my, ooh, my life. Of, sorry, my decision, my life decision involving Game of Thrones because it's such a huge thing, is to not watch it till it's done. Oh, I'm so the I can same. watch Ooh. from start to finish. Yep. with no waiting for the next week, waiting for the next week. Uh, waiting for the next week. I did that with Top Gear, and I did that with How Much Your wow. Mother. You wait like 21 years for Top Gear to finish. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's commitment. That's no, no, no. I mean, like you waited longer than <laughs> you've been alive. Top Gear. Like, <laughs> wait till that finishes. Yeah, just no. watched it. I no, I I did the week to week thing with with Top Gear and How I Met Your Mother and yeah. like 
Yeah. The, the brilliant TV shows, but I don't want to wait the week. So I'm just going to wait for Game of Thrones to end, and mm. I'm going to binge watch 10 yeah. seasons. That's becoming like a new fad to binge watch because of Netflix, I, I think, how yeah. they're doing it. How they or just, just release. Torrenting, like. Yeah. Obviously or even torrenting, yeah. but you shouldn't steal. No, I don't steal. We don't, we allegedly. Do allegedly, support. allegedly. Allegedly, that those things exist. No, Top yeah, Gear yeah. is available on Netflix. So yeah. Really? yeah. Another, another TV show that I would recommend, the OJ vs. People. Yeah, good. American Crime Story. Oh, what's that? Really? Yeah, I liked it. I watched a few episodes of To Make a Murderer, and I got bored very quickly. How to how to ma- to make a murderer? I oh yeah, I watched the yeah. first two, and yeah. uh, I could it's get the into the guy it. who like killed the report or the the girl. Sorry, he got. I don't remember. Is what is this a movie review? A no, I'm kidding. Oh my God, yeah. oh, boring. No, he was um <laughs> he was like oh that's right. Some woman on a beach thought he raped her, but then she got, he got acquitted. But then he got out for like two years or something, and then. Killed a girl? What? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Crazy. Um, I love to watch, like, Criminal Minds and Law and Order SVU and... Yeah. Those I like the favorite. F1. Formula Wait. One racing. Oh, yeah. It's three o'clock in the morning and I'm like, Come on, Alonzo! Come <laughs> yeah. on! And like, that's how... Okay. So if you want to lose housemates, watch F1 really loud because <laughs> oh, there's, yeah. like, engines <laughs> roaring. <laughs> We got so many tips. You, you idiot! What are you doing? Turn! Oh, he's crashed! Oh! You're one of the people that yell at the TV. Yeah, I yell at. Oh. I make hand. I'm making hand gestures right now. Right <laughs> doing a podcast with hand gestures. Um, and you're making hand gestures. You're jumping up and down. You're spilling your chai tea. It's just your chai latte. <laughs> well, speaking of tips, um, how to get rid of your roommates? Just watch TV, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> real loud, and yell at it with hand gestures from yeah. Craig, but. Some study tips from you, Scotty, yeah. that have helped you through, man. These are our uni hacks. Uni okay, hacks. okay. Some some mad uni hacks that I've developed over the years. Um, if your university supports it, get the podcast of your subjects. So I have it on my phone, and it will download a lecture as soon as it's yeah, uploaded. Well, yeah, they do offer that here. Yeah, so my uni does it as well. It's amazing. I mm. have all my... So it keeps track of what you've watched and what you haven't watched. Really? Yeah, because in your podcast app, right? Like, it will... Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah so because I don't attend lectures. That's another study tip. But that only works for me. I mean, it's going to be different for everyone, but I don't attend lectures. I watch them at home at two times speed. I feel like I get twice as much done in the same amount of time. Because... <laughs> Talking like a chipmunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you get, you get used to it so quickly, you don't even notice, right? Really? Yep. And I feel like it's a better use of my time to use the two hours that I would be sitting in a lecture, probably bored, Mm. To be working on assignments or to be mm. doing team stuff or something like that. Just and then trying watch to be it productive. Another. Yeah, and then when I used to live in Ipswich and travel into Brisbane every day, that was 45 to 50 minutes on the train. That's perfect to smash out one lecture. Mm. True. Yeah, so Definitely. I'd smash a lecture on the way so in. Smash what podcast app are you using? I am using, I think I'm using Podcast Addict. Oh, that's the one I use. Bradley yes, I'm using by Podcast by Addict. Bradley, brought to you by podcast. Between that and the burger joint that we're going to... Wake Old Burgers. Wake Old Burgers. Wake Old Burgers. Oh, Wake Old Burgers is amazing, isn't oh, it? Oh, another, <laughs> another endorsement. The, the, mon- the Monster Burgers? Yes. Oh. We've heard about this. This we, is... The Monster Burgers! We should bigger do a than my face. live on Wake Old Burgers. We have, See, we have I have a Wake Old Burgers. Wake Old Burgers. Because oh no, they don't keep... say anything negative because we're hoping for sponsorship. Yeah, we're... <laughs> these <laughs> are our sponsors. You can't. They're not going to sponsor you. Let me just. I know. Yeah, but I know. <laughs> they have an open sign that sits on the road. <laughs> yeah, twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. Okay, mm-hmm. it's very misleading. Why? Because they're not open on the weekend. Oh, that is misleading. Yeah. Maybe it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Monday to Friday. <laughs> they're no, actually they're not. open 24 hours? No, no, no. It sits out there all the oh. time. The we are open, come in sign. Right? Oh, okay. So you tried at like three o'clock in the morning. No, but no. I'm not. Like, that's unreasonable. But like on a <laughs> sun, Saturday. 24 7. No, it doesn't say 24 7. Oh. It's out there all the time. Oh. So I drove in at one o'clock on a Saturday. Totally reasonable time for a takeaway to be open. Mm. And they were closed. What is this? I live in Brisbane now, so I'm very like don't get to come into Ipswich often. So when I do, I want to enjoy a Wake Hole Burger, but I don't want to be here before twelve. I want to enjoy my Wake Hole Burger. <laughs> Someone's mad. At one p- no, it's just it's unreal. <laughs> I get it. If you want to close at twelve because you don't get business after then, that's fine. We've cut to the core of it. Yeah, no. this is meant to be a study tip. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Okay, let's do another study tip. Look after yourself. Eat well. Don't yes. eat crap. Don't eat burgers. Yeah, yeah don't eat um, burgers. Sorry, we don't endorse that. Yeah, but if you want to enjoy a Wake Hole Burger, go there before 12 because they close. 
Like it's great. And they don't bring in the sign. This shouldn't be a study. You, this shouldn't be like the engineering podcast for students. This should be the burger podcast. <laughs> like, I am a huge fan of burgers. The, the, the rise and fall of Way Cool Burgers. <laughs> that is true. Oh, no, it's a, it's a triumphant rise because it's amazing food. Mm. But I just wish they'd bring that sign in. It's on wheels. You should send them an email. Just or take it. Whatever. Or maybe <laughs> yes. maybe you're a victim of advertisement. And they've got you. I am a victim, so just like Richard. What yeah. we are doing right now, we're talking about it, and that's what advertisement does to I people. I think that's what yeah. they did. That's oh, what that's they've oh. done. They're deep. That's they, gorilla. They, they that is know. gorilla. See? That is, yeah. that They're ingraining that picture, that, that, that sign in your mind, oh, and yeah. now you're spreading it to the world through the internet. This is fascinating. So, so your study tip was basically just to download the um, the podcast yeah. version, or well, the MP3 version, if you will, yep. of the oh, um, even the, the lecture video cast version. Mm. So it's like a video. I get to watch. Can the you watch that on the podcast one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have videos here of my podcast. Let me just pull it up for an example. One of the subjects I am studying, that, such as dynamics. Reaching to his phone and then, right now. Wow. wow. Yeah. So yeah, we're Week looking five. at the podcast app. And then Go play. play. That's just a media player, isn't it, really? Wow. Yeah, nice. That's yeah. Dude, that's awesome. I didn't know you could put the MP4 in there. But then it has like read and unread, so I can keep track of what lectures I've watched and haven't watched. Dude, I love that app. Yep. Podcast Addict. Podcast, on yep. And free. Google Play. I'm yeah. sure it's on iPhone as well. And you can um, you can also, I know, I know so I'll give it another little plug, is when you search for like podcasts and stuff, you can use the iTunes... Um, uh, what do they use? Like their search engine. Yes, you so can. If, yes, yes. if it's something that's only on iTunes, it still picks it up. Yes, it does. Which How is did really you good. That? Because I use that app all the time. Oh, you use the same app? Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I love that app. I listen to podcasts on there all the time. That's awesome. Yep. Yeah, man. Engineering Commons. Yeah. Harla. That's oh, a podcast really? shout out. Another engineering podcast. I'm Not too uh, bad. I'm a big fan of Still Untitled, the Adam Savage project. Yeah. Project. I think I feel I pick up so many life tips. Nice. Um, from just for someone who's lived such a successful life oh. so early. Yeah. Like he's what fifty, I mm-hmm. think, at the most, and he has done such great things to come from nothing mm. um, to you know a ten season TV show. Oh. Yeah, man, it's crazy. And he's so down to earth and willing to share exactly what he knows. Like you can't beat that. No, he's, he's awesome. a funny dude, though. He oh, is. He's a funny. You dude. know those yeah. guys are only special effects guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How crazy is that? I went and saw them at the Brisbane uh, at, at South Bank. Oh, I should have gone. Yeah, I went and saw him live. Oh. That would have been cool. It was actually really yeah. cool. When was this? It was, oh, last year? Yeah. Yeah, last year? Yeah, like July, August or yeah, something. Yeah, you, sh- you guys would have loved the last part they did. Um, It's like one of those old, um, old like, cannons where, like, there's got the two wheels and it's got, like, the cannon that they sort of just wheel along, like, mm. old school style, yep. but it was a big paintball gun. Oh, and nice. this guy was dressed up as a knight, and he was standing up there and just getting smashed with paintball guns. It was literally like, just like this huge fucking cat. Like, what are those guns? Those Gatling Gatling gun, maybe? Yeah. It was just a Gatling gun just going hard on this. Were they just like the paintballs, or were they bigger? I don't know. They were just paintballs, man, but he was smashing the shit out of this guy in like his knight outfit. Yeah, it was really cool because they had this like clear like perspex screen in front of the stage, and he just stood in front of there and then just drilled him. It was cool. It was crazy. It was some Imagine that as your job. What did you do today? Stand in front of a paintball gun in a suit of armor. It's probably yeah. a stunt man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just Tuesday for him. Talking uni tips and sort of career yeah. development tips. If you can find a hobby that furthers your skills, mm-hmm. like at the moment, I'm trying to teach myself Python. What's that? Python is a programming language um, for for like computers. Like it's just yeah. you build programs at like. Very basic. It's, it's very centered around maths. Okay. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm doing something called bet arbitrage. What's that? So it it's a process where you look at all of the bet, the all the bookmakers that do like sports betting. Yeah. And you look at the deviations in their bets. Right? Oh, okay. So, for example, one that I performed arbitrage on was uh, Sydney versus Melbourne in the soccer. Mm-hmm. Um, Melbourne was paying seven dollars. We're trying win. to fucking work out how to win money here. Yeah, it's it's guaranteed money. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's seven dollars. Sportsbet was paying seven dollars for um, Melbourne to win, but then Sydney was paying like three dollars and ten cents to win. So you do some basic maths mm-hmm. and um, you determine whether or not you can make a win on that. So then I put fifty dollars one. It was 
a very specific amount of How money. How accurate there. is this equation or whatever you're using? Oh, it's, it's very, it's, you take the two odds. So you do one over the odd plus one over the other odd. <sighs> and if that equals less than one, then you've got an arbitrage situation. Yeah. You've lost me. It's, I'll do the math with you. But regardless. <laughs> Have you, do you get it? Yeah, he's, I'm... I'm I'm wondering why you 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 comparing the two different breading odds together though like what what are the, the prices why are you comparing the prices what? because obviously a bookmaker is never going to put themselves in a situation where you can put a dollar each way and make money regardless right mm. but if you like compare sports bet with William Hill or mm. thing they they're, they're going to have slight deviations on what they're paying mm. so mm. if oh so you're looking for the best outcome for your dollar yeah exactly basically. right and there are situations where it sort of passes that threshold of what are your chances guaranteed? of winning every time though. Well, they're fixed odds, so it's guaranteed wins. Either way, you, you Every go. Every time. You win. Yeah. But it's it's rare to find, right? So you can't do that by hand because you'd need to have like this supercomputer of a brain where you can compare odds on seven websites at once and then identify situations where you would make an arbitrage. So you're trying to come up with like an like an algorithm yeah, it's, to it's predict very sim- yeah. winning. No, it's not a prediction thing. Oh. It's just an identification thing. Of a bookie screw-up, basically. Yeah, of a bookie screw-up. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it puts a... Sixty dollars one way and forty dollars the other, and no matter what, you're winning. Wow, man! Yeah. I know a lot of people that would love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, you, but it's difficult, gamblers. right? So, yeah, man. It's, um, that's why the computer. I'm trying to get the computer to do it for me. Okay. Yeah. I've always, well, I've always like wondered if you could do that some sort of way of like predicting. You know, you have eight horses or whatever, uh, and, you can and then you can factor in too, certain yeah. things. I don't, I don't know the science or all the math or the programs behind it, mm. but I was thinking there's got to be a way to do it with the technology we have yeah. these days. I find it so interesting. So that's it's spurring me on to learn Python in my own time. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very cool. That's and cool, I, man. Yeah, and I pulled people onto the project from uni because they find it interesting and they're very. Good with programming, so I'm surrounding myself with people. It's got nothing to do with the fact that you're trying to find a win-win situation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's not going to pull anyone in. You're like, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. guaranteed to make money. You, you come <laughs> in like you just pull up with like yeah, like a, a Lambo tomorrow. You're like yeah, yeah. yeah. arbitrage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> arbitrage bot. It puts the, for a boat. <laughs> yeah, arbitrage. Um, yeah. So hot. That's like a. That's one of the hobbies. I was actually yeah. that was one of the questions, man. You're all over this. Yeah. Today, that's awesome. Yeah. But um. Hobbies. I love... Okay, so I guess this comes under stress relief as well. I love fishing. I love camping. I love boating. I love oh. full driving. It's it's my escape from the world. Mm-hmm. Um, there is nothing better than sitting and watching a line for a couple of hours because you have nothing else to think about than what's on the end of that line or whether or not a fish is hitting it. It's, it's the ritual as well of packing the car for camping. It's the ritual of cleaning all your gear down once you're done. It's so therapeutic and nice. You love and it. Unlike mm-hmm. anything you can get anywhere else. That's I love pressure washing. What's yeah, that? You yeah. get the pressure washer and you're pressure washing your car. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. He's like, like <gasps> Gurney. I am the defender of dirt. <laughs> yeah. I have a superpower. Be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's, yeah, it's so times. like therapeutic and nice. It is, man. Yeah. Oh, I've just gotten into camping, man. Well, yeah. not just got into it, but got back into it. I used to go yeah. camping as a kid all the time. Camping as an adult and camping as a kid is completely different. And oh, yeah. For the better. Like, camping with your dad is obviously fun and a learning experience. Your dad tries to make it a learning experience. Mm-hmm. But when you're camping for yourself and for fun... It's oh, is that what dads are supposed to do? That's, that's yeah, that's <laughs> All my dad would try to do was stop me from lighting fires all over the place. Yeah. You're like, I'm camping, that means fire! It, my parents were like, all right, there's a stick, go over there and play all the <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out or something. But like thinking now, if you had kids and you'd wanted to take them camping, yeah, of course you'd want to try and make it a learning experience. For sure. Yeah. Oh, that's the, I teach think them that's how to build a fire safely and teach them how to you know, fill it a fish sure. or gut a fish or catch a fish even. Like... Yeah. It's so fun and so nice to be out in nature. It's basically way. getting back to fundamentals of yeah. being a human. Yeah. You know, we're... Golden we, caveman. Yeah, we get so disconnected with the world and the way society is, it's sometimes good just to go back and just feel oh, what yeah. it used to be like. Absolutely. Because it's in our DNA, man, hardwired in us. That's just the way we are. We're all monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy like monkeys. Crazy like a monkey. Uh, all, all right, right man. Um, right. We have... One last um, question for you. Well, two more mm. is um, exam prep tips. Yeah, exam this is a prep. huge one okay. because everyone probably wants to hear this. Eh? And yeah. our ones are for here. If they're still listening, 
if they're still listening, they probably off they probably fell asleep by now. Yeah. But um, yeah, we we like to do the past exams and mm. as many tutorial questions. Oh yeah, That's, past exams are so important. Yeah, they're great. It gives you like a structure of what you need to know, yep. more or less, and it ge- it kind of identifies the areas of where you need to study mm. if you yep. look at it that way. So I'll I'll start with what not to do. And sure. that's to do so if you've got four exams coming up over the next two weeks, don't just study for one, then the next, then the next, then the next. Don't cons- don't do it consecutively, do it concurrently. So obviously you wanna it depends on the person you are, that's who I am. I will overlap my study times so that they are concurrent and mm-hmm. it gives you a break and keeps things fresh. How long do um, you study for? Like, like if as soon as time. possible. As soon as your last exam is uh, assignment is submitted, mm-hmm. you should be studying for your first exam. No time off one day. No, don't need it. <laughs> you, one day for fishing. No, oh, no. But see, then you're mid semester break. Like you, yeah, you the, go the, into. You've got three months at the end of the year. You can fish then. For now, focus True. on getting good grades. Good point. Fine. Yeah, suck it up. <laughs> as as nice as that can be, just suck it up for a couple of like for just two weeks, and then it's over, and then you can. Literally not wear pants for the next three months. Yes. Yeah? Like you can wear th- <laughs> bodies and thongs for the rest of the three months that you've got off. But for now, don't put your serious pants on. And then monkey around later. Yeah, monkey around as much as you want. Get as drunk as you want. Whatever. Ugh. Ugh. Drinking? Uh, I don't drink anymore. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I, um, it's too much to pay back the next day yeah. for me. Now I'm old. It's like... <laughs> It's like, well, it's just you're aware of how much of the toll it, it takes on your body. Waking up in the morning after a night of drinking now. Yeah, it's really? tough. I'm sure it always has, but like back then, it was worth it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But, all right. Um, so put the time in. Put the time in. Get as much prep oh, as yeah. you can get done, and happy days. D- okay. Take so the stress off by doing. Just get yeah. it done. Yeah. yeah. So everyone's so scared to ask the lecturer. Or even talk to the, it. It seems so taboo to ask the lecturer about the exam, right? Mm-hmm. But they will. Really? Just have a conversation. Be like, hey, sir, what do you think about the exam? Mm-hmm. What do you think I should be studying? What did you put on the exam? No, well, it's <laughs> you can't ask that, obviously, and he can't answer that, or she can't answer that, right? She but shouldn't. you can have a conversation. Mm-hmm. You can just say, look. Really Where do you think yeah. my strengths would help me in this exam? Yeah, it sounds like you're fishing for the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, fishing for the. <laughs> it's exam. it's well for if sure, you paid attention sure. throughout the semester, you shouldn't need to know where to study. It should be obvious. Yeah, well, at that point, if you yeah. you know what what did Michael say? If you don't know what to worry about, then you're in trouble or something or other. The biggest thing to fear is like well, you don't know or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it was some really cool <laughs> thing that he just came up with on the spot. It was it was actually it really hit the point home. Eh? Yeah. It was when if, if you, you don't, don't know what to worry about, then you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, something along those lines. All right, dude. This is our um. This is our last question. I did want to go over LinkedIn a little bit. Do you yeah. go on that much? I do use LinkedIn a lot. So yeah. I I go to every industry night I can. Not even for my own thing. So I go to the civil engineering ones. I go to the structural engineering ones. I go to the. Let us know when you go, man, because we want to go to these things. Yeah, of course. Please, you're um, plugged in. Yeah, yeah. you're right into yeah. it. So That's because like I only just got onto LinkedIn like last week. Oh really? Well, no, so, I've been on it, but I haven't really gone and got. Link- are you linked yet or? Mm. Oh yeah, I'm linked to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we've been on it for a while, but yeah. I haven't really like Used updated it. it seriously. You yeah. know, put the things. So that's in your there. that's your ticket to the real world, right? Basically, LinkedIn. So when you go to these yeah, industry nights, you're like drinking beer or something. yeah, yeah, so yeah. Like Mine was a photo of me looking at the sky that way, <laughs> nice. like backwards, and it's just like a photo of the back of my head. Yeah. So my uni <laughs> um does like a <laughs> free we should photo shoot of just like <laughs> us the professional pit. So we'll just put on like a, a shirt, like yeah. a nice shirt. My uni does that. We'll do black and white and we'll be looking up with a light in our face and then we'll be like... Yeah, we should do we some should do nice that. photo shoots. Photo shoot. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay. We're going to do it. There's a nice background there we can manipulate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that'll play mess with the uh, oh, will it? the flash. But anyway. anyway. Oh. Oh. oh, there. One, one yeah, over there. Nice there. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So <laughs> no one look can into see it. what we're pointing to. Yeah. Because my uni... Does okay. free photo sessions for your LinkedIn profile, right? They'll, oh, wow. They'll coach you. They say, don't stare at the camera, stare this way, turn your shoulders, wear your business. Oh. Up. Like, it's just so nice. And they do that for you at the start of the year. That's nice. Wow. So look into it. If not, I feel like his if uni's you, better than our uni. It's not a matter of better than. No, no, it's better. It's asking the right questions. So really? if you ask one of the people here, I'm sure. Different resources, from, maybe? No, Possibly. ask them. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Which is different, um, maybe different, um, I don't know, I don't want to talk about 
priorities. I don't know. <laughs> um, all right, this is the last question of the podcast, and this is one that I got from the uh, this other podcast I was listening, the Civil Engineering Podcast. I'm excited. Uh, so this is the um, elevator advice. Okay. So basically, you you get into an elevator. There's a student there. Could be looking to study in engineering. Could be in okay. his first year. Whatever. Whatever. Yep. However you want to take it. And you just basically have thirty seconds yep. to inspire him or tell him what you did or whatever. It, you know, yep. just you know something that you would say in an elevator to inspire someone. Sure. Basically, at the beginning of their journey. Sure. So it's okay to feel out of your depth. Ask questions because everyone's willing to help and make sure that if – don't be afraid to ask because the, go, keep going back to this confidence and being able to talk to people. That's so important. Please develop that straight away because then you can ask the right people the right things. And the worst you're going to get is a no, which is fine. You get that all the time. It's fine. Be okay with rejection because one day you're going to get someone to accept, like me getting my fourth year job in second year. Just by trying. And it's not like the first job I applied to was the one that I got, right? I was 50 or 60 resumes in at that point. But I got there. It's it just a, took some time. It's a numbers game. Just it is. You got it. Just I like was, women. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a numbers game. Wow. Uh, that was... Yeah, um, that's good. That was, that was good, man. Thanks. Thank you for that. Yeah, um, no and that will wrap up the podcast. Thanks Do you want to say me. anything to anyone at home that might listen to this? Thank ah. you. Well, obviously, hi, mum and dad. Hi, hi Emily. Mom. How's it going? Oh. Um, hi, Emily. Hi, hi Emily. Hi, hi mum and dad. Yeah. No, but um, thank you so much for listening, is. guys. Yeah. Obviously, um, I'm probably going to be around on the Engineering Student Podcast, so I'm going to offer myself as if you need some genuine advice, if you want someone to talk to about engineering or life or how to be a person. Wow. Not that I'm the best sort of person, but if I can help you, I'd love to help you. So reach out. You'll find me on Facebook, Scott McKechnie. I don't care if my name gets out there. Doesn't matter. Um, You're in it, man. We're yeah. in it. This is engineering. This is the engineering podcast. This is the this is the part where we're. This is the the phase we're in. Yeah. You know yeah. we you know we're we're not qualified engineers. We're student engineers. And this do you think this doing. is like the calm before the storm? Before we go out and do <laughs> full time engineering, you know, some description, and you're sitting there going, "Oh, uni's so hard. This is terrible." Yeah. Okay. And you're sitting there going. I remember those days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really so my I reckon is, it's going to be like that for My girlfriend sure. is going through that right now. She yeah. says, I thought uni was the hardest thing I've ever done. Work is the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah, but I think from what I hear, I was speaking to this engineer the other day. I don't mean to be dragging this out, but he was saying, it's you hear this from a lot of people. It's everything you learn at uni is for uni. Mm. When you get into the workforce, it's very, you know, like you said, you, you're stuck yeah. in the deep end. You're relearning everything again. Oh, cool. yeah. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. couldn't it be a little bit more transition? Yeah, like a nice well, transition. That's why they make us do the sixty days. Yeah, but some people do that before you know yeah. they graduate, and I don't know. I think that's up to the individual as well. I guess. All right. Long yes, Big Craig. Pop. Last words. Um, I don't know. Eat right. Eat right. Yeah. Oh, Look after yourself. Eat yeah. right. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs mm, bite. Plenty of fiber. Thanks for having me, guys. Always, yeah. Thanks for coming, man. Plenty of fiber. Always. I'm going to give you a sweaty hand. Boom. Well, we actually, oh, that was we, amazing. Wait, that high was five. Bad. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. All right. That was Thank powerful. you so much. And We're comment, like it. There's a Facebook Subscribe page. It. I'll put it all in the description. Um, and yeah, just look there and it will have all the notes. You can find Scotty on LinkedIn. Scotty, LinkedIn. Craig, you, you on LinkedIn? I can't remember. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. YouTube, this is my channel. But well, we're going to look for a new channel for this podcast. Yeah. That's what we're talking about here. We need here. a shout out for. Uh, we need a girl. We need to get a girl's perspective. Okay? Yeah, we should do a, a big shout out to anyone if you're of um, girl description to uh, join us on the podcast because we want to get your points of view. Yeah. We want to. We want. We want to come at it from a different angle. So we want everyone on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> it'd be, it'd be fun. that's going to be it. I'm going right. to wrap the podcast up. Mics are off. I'm going to turn it off. All right.